Hi everyone, in this video we are going to install GitLab in Linux Ubuntu machine using Docker. And the reason why I switched to Linux uh, operating system is uh, uh, when I was trying to install GitLab in Windows environment uh, using Docker, I faced issue that is related to the volume permissions. And this is clearly mentioned in the GitLab documentation of installation where you can see there is a caution warning that says we do not officially support running on Docker for Windows. There are known issues with volume permissions. And there might be a solution out there, uh, but I thought of not chasing um, for that and thought of switching to Linux uh, because uh, that is much more easier than trying to you know resolve the issue because we don't want to go through the um, how we can solve the issue with uh, GitLab installation in our very first video of the course. So what I did is I installed um, Linux Ubuntu um, aside of my Windows operating system and uh, then I installed Docker and created a Docker Compose file for the GitLab installation. So where I started is I started with the GitHub where I search for the GitLab. Okay, once you are done with all the installation of Docker, go to the Docker Hub, search for the GitLab, and you can find that there is two main images, that is GitLab Community Edition, and the other one is Enterprise Edition. So we are interested in Community Edition, so I clicked on it. Next, what I did is um, I, followed all the, um, I followed the link here, and then finally I ended up on the GitLab documentation for installing using Docker. So if you follow all these steps here, uh, which is clearly mentioned, you know, uh, nicely documented, uh, if you go through all this, um, you can, you will be, you know, you'll, uh, you'll be successfully able to install GitLab. So what I have done is I have, uh, I have a Docker Compose file, which I'll be showing you. Um, let me bring that up, um, here it is. So I've created a Docker Compose file and in this I have created a service called web and in that I have specified the image and what this is going to do is it is going to search the image in your local uh, repository. If it is available it is going to use it. If not it's going to pull from the Docker Hub. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the release candidate. Instead of using the latest I'm using release candidate. The next I have the next statement that it says restart. So whenever my system restarts, I want to restart the container. That is, I want to start the container. Next, I have the host name. You can give whatever name you want. And then I have the container name. I want to name the container which is going to start. That is GitLab container. Then I'm setting the environment variable here. That is GitLab Omnibus Config. And I am specifying the external URL as GitLab gainitgen.com then i have the ports this is something that is very important um, where i am publishing the ports of the gitlab application that is a container uh, at that is the http port then we have for um we have ssh and https so all those three ports i am publishing to the external world using my ip address and the reason why I have the IP address is because um, I, in my future courses, I'm going to access the GitLab application from a different machine. Okay, and that's the reason why I have the IP address. Here, if you see that I have uh, a port number 8080, so what I'm doing is I'm publishing the container GitLab, uh, GitLab container port to the external world through 8080. Okay, so that is what here it means. The next I have is the volumes and what this does is it basically you know saves the GitLab, the config, the log as well as the data to my file system. So instead of whenever I restart the container I don't want to lose the data that is all this information of GitLab. So what I'm doing is I am saving it to, the, to my file system. So whenever the container starts, it knows where exactly all these configurations, data, it needs to look at. It needs to look at the file system. So it will pick it from here and then start. So 
So that's what this volume does. And here is where I was having issue, basically when I was trying to install through uh, uh, in my Windows operating system, here is where I was having issue. Okay, and the next I have is the network. I'm saying that, okay, use the Docker network that I have created. And finally I have the networks. That is the Docker network. So I hope this is clear, the Docker Compose file. So let's try to run the Docker Compose. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Compose file, which is in my documents folder. Then I'm going to open it in the, in the terminal. So first let's check the images that I have. And you can see that I already have the GitLab CE, that is release candidate image. So whenever I run the Docker Compose, it's not going to pull it from the Docker Hub, it's going to use the local uh, image, okay? So in case if it is not available, if you're doing for the first time, this won't be available. So but when you run the Docker Compose, it will pull from the Docker Hub and it will download and um, save it in the local repository. So let's run this, the docker compose, uh, and the command is up, that is up. Um, it's going to create and start the container, and then I'm going to run this in a detach mode. So let's hit enter, and it says creating GitLab container. Okay, so in if you're doing this for the first time, what it's going to do is, it will, you'll see that there will be a downloading information that says it's pulling the Docker image, uh, that is the GitLab image from the Docker Hub. And once that is done, it's going to create the container. Okay, so with that, uh, let's check the Docker container. And you can see that it says, health is, the status is starting. And you can see the, all these ports here. Okay, so the, uh, and the name is GitLab container. So this is going to take a few minutes to start. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop the video here and then once it is up, I'll be back. Okay, now the status has changed to healthy. So let's try to access the application and the application is running on 8080. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this in browser here. Let's try to access it. And you can see that we are able to access the GitLab application. So initially it's going to ask for the username and the password. And uh, you know, if for the first time, if you're trying to access it, for example, let's try to open a new window uh, here. And I can say that open a new private window here. Okay. So here what it's going to do is for the first time, it's going to ask you for uh, password reset. Okay, in my case, I have done this couple of times, so it's not asking me, but uh, in your case, it's going to ask to reset your password. And the username, that is the default username is going to be root. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use root and the password, and once you reset the password, it will redirect you to the application. So here I have already done that. So it's going to be my the resetter password, that is my new password. And it's going to be Okay. I think I forgot my password, but let's try it again. It is uh, Okay. Let's give one more try. And I remember my password. Okay, so if you see here, now I'm in the application and uh, uh, like after the, in your case, uh, you will be, after you reset the password for the very first time, you will be in the landing page, that is the home page of the application. So with this, uh, we have successfully installed GitLab in our machine using Docker, okay? Um, that's all for the video and I'll see you in the next session. Till then, take care. Thank you.